Thank you, Joe. How are you? Good. In Los Angeles, Tommy John visits the surgeon who treated him, Dr. Frank Job. Tommy John recalls the fateful pitch. I can describe the pitch vividly because it's something that's going to stand out in my mind uh, forever. It was um, July 17th, 1974, and we are playing the Montreal Expos. And actually, I had a four to nothing lead in like the top of the fourth inning, top of the fifth inning. And I was 13 and three at, at the time. And you know, I was rolling along, I felt to my 14th win, and I threw the one pitch, and right as I got, oh, I'd say halfway through the pitch, I, I felt this banging sound in my elbow and this, and this sharp pain. Tommy John had ripped a critical ligament in his elbow. No pitcher had ever returned from this injury. A new approach was needed. The procedure that we decided on when Tommy injured his arm when the ligament was ruptured uh, was to make some attempt to replace it with another uh, structure. And uh, what we did was to replace a ligament with a tendon. A ligament, of course, uh, is something that holds bone to bone and keeps his elbow from coming apart as he brings it through in a pitching motion. A tendon uh, is made out of the same material uh, with a little different chemistry and is used uh, to uh, connect muscle to bone as a motor power. So what they did was to take this tendon, the palmaris longus, out of Tommy John's uninjured right arm. Then, after drilling four holes, they used it to hold the bones of his left arm together. The tendon, they hoped, would replace the torn ligament. But there was a further problem. Tommy John's ulnar nerve had become irritated by pitching. So it had to be repositioned in a safer place. Until this healed, he could not move his fingers. Uh, I normally grip a baseball with, my, with these two fingers closed and just grip the ball like, like this. But when I first started out, my hands were like that and I would, I would forcibly have to take the ball and put it in my hand. And I couldn't move my thumb up on the side. I couldn't make that movement with my thumb. The only movement I could make with my thumb was curl my thumb under. So I would have to throw the ball like that and curl this thumb under and throw it just like this. And I would, and, and I mean, I couldn't just do it like so. I would have to take the ball in my glove, put my hand on it like this, bend my thumb under, throw the ball against a wall in spring training down in Vero, pick the ball up, put it back there again like that, and throw the ball. Tommy John worked for two years before his successful comeback. But no one who saw the extent of his injury thought he would ever pitch again, including Dr. Job. I told Tommy that uh, we were running a pretty big risk, uh, that he would not ever pitch again. And the reason I felt that is that I had some understanding of the stresses placed on an elbow. I think the, uh, the difference between uh, throwing hard enough to get a major league uh, batter out and throwing hard enough to hurt your arm is very minimal. Uh, it's a very small margin that they're working with in pitching so that if your arm isn't able to take a maximum stress, then you're not able to pitch effectively. So that with that in the back of my mind, I was not sure that we could bring him back to that level of uh, strength and ability. And that's why I told him that uh, there was some question in my mind about his returning and that perhaps uh, he should have an alternate uh, career in mind.